All right, that's the video recording. Now, what I'm going to demonstrate here is, uh, is when you're filming, the camera can be a bit noisy when wind hits it. It's a bit breezy here today. It's not breezy right now, so you're probably being able to hear me okay. Um, I bought this. It's a Tascam DR70D which is a small compact uh, recording unit and basically what I'm going to demonstrate is this home built mic which uh, is a simple, uh, you can get the circuit online, it's a simple um, it allows phantom powering of a little electric condenser mic. Uh, you can run quite lengthy cables um, from it and it's phantom powered and this little unit, the Tascam, produces phantom power. So what I want to demonstrate really is I've been experimenting with balloons like so. And uh, so with a balloon, some black tape, a home built microphone, I want to let you hear the difference between the camera mic, the home built mic without the balloon and the home built mic with the balloon for when it's windy. So I'll go and set up, I'll keep this running and what I'll do is I'll be snapping my fingers and when I snap my fingers I'll be switching the camera sound off and switching to this sound. The other thing is, the balloon itself, if I put the, put the balloon on, it's uh, going to be blown about. So I built this little stabilising unit, which is basically a crochet hoop onto a small stake which I can put into the ground. Okay, so that's now the little cheap condenser mic. You can hear the wind passing by it. Um, it is a, 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 a sort of mono track that I'm recording on. The camera records on stereo. But uh, I'm sure you can hear the difference already. Uh, but the wind condenser mic is absolutely just exposed. The condenser capsules just open to the air and any slight bit of uh, wind um, just causes that low frequency plosives and it uh, doesn't sound good at all. Like I said, it's, it's, it's quite breezy. You can see the trees moving and things like that, but it's enough to really waste a good recording. So I think what we'll do now is I'm just going to stop and... Uh, I'm going to blow up the balloon. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to stop recording on this and revert back to the camera sound. That's file 12.
to under strain. And now that's it with the balloon on. Uh, just some points to note is the balloon itself. Thing will pop if you're in the thorny bushes. But it works really well and hopefully we'll get a few gusts. Uh, the only thing it doesn't work well in is rain, because when rain hits it, it sounds like sticks getting hit off. A tin roof. But that's the balloon mic. Um, this is file 13, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into the house, I'll leave this running, and we can compare it against the camera. You can see that the trees are blown still, but you're not hearing the wind. It's quite impressive. Uh, Right, I'll just leave it running for five minutes. I'm going to get in right up on the mic now. Oh, my watch beat there. So uh, I think that will do. 
is a demonstration of a, a prototype uh, balloon mic. Thanks for watching. So I'm going to stop that audio recording now and we'll probably just revert right back to the camera sounds. And that was file number 13. I'll go and get the files on the computer and uh, do the editing.